All you parents of bad students, listen up. There's hope for that child. Because my next guest admittedly was not a good student in school, but he went on to become a record-setting, out-of-this-world inspiration. I'm talking about astronaut Scott Kelly. Until just weeks ago, he held the NASA record for the longest space mission. He's now sharing his advice for the next generation with his new book. It's called Ready for Launch, an Astronaut's Lesson for Success on Earth. And he is here in studio with us. Scott Kelly, it is so good to have you here. And, and I mentioned that somewhat jokingly, but you admit you weren't a good student early on. You found your inspiration in college. What, what message kind of is that? You never know where yeah. the inspiration is going to come or when. Yeah, for me as a kid, absolutely impossible for me to pay attention. I didn't do well in school despite wanting to be a good student. And it wasn't until I got into college I was still struggling and I walked into the bookstore, the college bookstore, to buy maybe gum or something, not a book. But I found uh, Tom Wolfe's The Right Stuff and it inspired me that maybe if I could become a better student, perhaps I could maybe fly in space someday. Now, is that a lesson you would point to there for parents and maybe even for kids? Because we're, we're always trying to find that inspiration. It needs to come in a certain time or it needs to come in a certain way. Is that that's certainly a lesson, or certainly in the book even, you want to get out there to parents and yeah. young people? You know, all kids are different. And I had, the, I had the greatest intentions. I wanted to do well. It was not about, uh, you know, my desire. It was really about finding you know, the right inspiration for me. And I think all kids are different. All people are different. They're all inspired by different things. So, uh, you know, hopefully my book will inspire some kid like I was inspired by Tom Wolf. I want to get into, of course, I don't want to get into the details of it, but it, people, I called it a Twitter beef earlier, but the back and forth you had with the head of the Russian yeah. Space Agency. Um, I think you called him a child. He called you a moron. We won't get into the yeah, details. Yeah, yeah. I think some of that has kind of uh, subsided a little mm -hmm. bit now. But this idea that we need to have, despite what we're seeing in Ukraine and what Russia is doing, why do you say it's still so important for that International Space Station to be such a symbol of cooperation, despite what else might be going on in the world? Yeah, one of the greatest successes of the space station is the international aspect of it. We started uh, this collaboration with Russia out with them coming out of the Cold War, us coming out of the Cold War. It's a place that we could work peacefully together. And I think especially now, it's really the only thing left that really ties our two countries and really brings the, wall, the world together is that cooperation in space. So I think it's critically important to maintain. You, uh, you spoke of how it took you months, maybe six months plus after you came back and you were there 30, 340 days, do I have that yeah, right? 340, in space. Yeah. Um, that when you came back, it took a while for you to feel normal again. And you talk about this idea that our world leaders, if we stuck them all in the space station for a little while. I, uh -huh. is, is it called the overview effect? Yeah. You said they would see the world. They would see things differently. Explain that. I just thought it was fascinating. How you, you know, my this. Russian colleague uh, that I spent a year with, Misha, he said, you know, we could solve a lot of our problems if we would just send our two leaders uh, <laughs> to space for a year together. And, you know, when you see the Earth from space, you don't see political borders. You see the fragility of the uh, planet. And it gives you the sense that we're all in this thing called humanity together and we need to work together and when you you know what's going on in Ukraine right now is absolutely just horrific and criminal and anything I can do to you know get the message the real news to Russians I'll do that a couple of days ago I raised over half a million dollars yeah. with the NFTs to support Ukrainian relief so uh, hopefully that'll do some good as, as well and you know encourage people to do whatever they can to make a difference in this and those the NFTs it was some prints some uh, some art that you all were going to open up to auction for uh, a few days even a week and what happened they, they were gone just like that so we sold uh, over 3,000 in within a few hours wow. and then we're auctioning some items today actually some space memorabilia with some NFTs and looking forward to seeing how well that does that is really great now I want to ask as well man what, what you're seeing with uh, and again our own colleague uh, Michael Strahan went to space not yeah. long ago um, where do we go next because it, it's one thing to have some space tourism go up and go down and that's kind of cool and it still continues to inspire I know you're in favor of, of private uh, mm -hmm. companies like this but where what's the next step do you think well I think the the there's several actually I, you know I think it's companies like uh, you know, Blue Origin, SpaceX, whoever else wants to be involved, setting up a, a private infrastructure to access low Earth orbit. Uh, Sierra Nevada, along with Blue Origin, is going to work on a, a commercial space station. And then NASA will, you know, at some point here, hopefully within the next few years, be sending astronauts to the moon again, and then someday on to Mars. 
the book here. Um, what's the age that you're targeting? It's kind you know, of for young readers yeah, to a certain degree, right? It is a, it is a young reader book from, I think, like 12 to 17. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, people often buy these books for their, like, college graduates or <laughs> some other gift book. I mean, it's a, it's a short read with a lot of good lessons. Yeah. Oh, well, man, it is an absolute pleasure. You have inspired for a long time a lot of folks. Good to have you here in studio on Earth. Uh, and sorry about your record, all right? It, does that been any trash talk with, with you and your guy? He beat your record by a It's not like weeks. a record for the most home runs. It's, it's, it's the record <laughs> for, like, just showing up and being there. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to put it like that, but you can. Scott Gilley, it's an absolute pleasure. Folks, we want you to know the book, your new book, Ready for Launch, and Astronaut's Lessons of Our Success on Earth, available now. It is an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, CJ. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.